YouTube, Rod J here to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. I'm going to take a look at another one, which is my last one from Pretty Things out of Massachusetts. This is their farewell, Field Mouse's Farewell. This is actually a Saison Farmhouse Ale. Comes in at 7% ABV. And as I mentioned, I think on a couple of the other videos, I have found out the brewery is out, now actually closed. So yeah, this is pretty much my last one unless I come across some stuff from uh, one of my other local places here that usually carries these. But um, sad to say, it's been a good trip enjoying some of these beers. And if you do find any out there, I definitely urge you to go ahead and check them out because they've all been pretty flavorful. So this one, as I mentioned, 7% ABV. Harvest Saison doesn't give too much on the IBUs here that I've seen. Go ahead and get it open and I'll uh, get it in the glass and see what we have here. If it's like all the rest, it should be uh, fairly nice. All right, so there we go. We get it into the glass. Pours out just over a uh, finger of head. As far as the color, you get some light on it. Nice, golden, pretty much sunset orange yellow color lots of good um carbonation taking place got a lot of lovely bubble action you can really see it a lot better once the light is on it i don't think you can really pick it up too much here but when you put the light through it it is very nice the head is actually already started to come down some so it may not last too long it's about uh half a finger now on it it is a nice uh pretty much white barely off-white color has a little bit of creaminess to it um nothing else really with it as much it's not really too frothy or rocky or anything it's just got a kind of a creamy layer on it and out of the light a nice orange color beer go ahead and get an aroma wow just like most saisons it opens up with what I would consider to be like kind of that sour type smell. A lot of good malt flavoring in there as you pick up the barley and some of the wheat oats. Um, you get a good amount of the rye that was used, which is nice. I mean, the rye comes out very nicely and some of these Saison type beers, I don't know if they did it with this one or not, but some of them have been noted to use some of the rye barrels. So anything with rye, I'm usually a big fan of it and you definitely get that out of the aroma here very pleasant on the smell very nice relaxing type scent very good moderate to strong strength you're not really having to sniff too hard to get it out of the glass and those come out very easily yeah that rye is just a dominating factor i really like that I'm going to get a taste oh that's pretty smooth get a little bit of bitterness on the back end not too much really up front it's kind of a effervescent refreshing type beer as well sits very nicely on the palate at the seven percent i would say it's more closer to a medium body type beer nice flavors open up in the mouth so you get a pretty decent mouth feel off of it very nice relaxing beer crisp um texture is not too watery at all really holds together nicely wow this is a a very nice relaxing type beer i mean you could just kick back and enjoy this uh, this might be a good beer for like say the late fall even uh, before you even get into winter where you just want to kick back and relax sit out by a fire pit or something along those lines funny i mentioned that. i just saw a note that said um it's also available i guess as they start coming out around june and july so it probably does stay out until about mid-fall but they consider it perfect for summertime type wanderers and i can see that too i mean it's not a bad beer to have in the summer, but at 7%, I wouldn't say down a bunch of these and do that. Don't really get any of the alcohol coming through the aftertaste. Aftertaste is very pleasant on this one. Very decent uh, beer overall. I'm very pleased with it. This may be one of the more favorable ones I've had from them, and I've pretty much enjoyed all their beers, but this one really does stand out to be a nice thirst quenching beer. You get a little bit of lace on the glass, and on the appearance, you do have would you consider slight cloudiness but not fully cloudy as i mentioned light can get through it wow and if you like to taste the rye i think you'll be very pleased with this one um let's check what check out some of the ratings untapped has an average of 3.78 bottle caps great beer has this one as a 91 overall and 85 for style 
And Beer Advocate had this for 88 for very good. So, across the board, some pretty decent ratings. I'm going to actually give this one an A. Um, I think it's very solid as a Saison uh, type beer. I love the rye. The rye, I think, pulls a lot of it together. You get a great aroma out of it. You get the great taste. And the appearance is very nice as well. So, all in all, when you look at everything involved with this beer, I think they did a really decent job yeah i could sit on this and sip this all day long probably that's how nice this one is so yeah so that's an a for phil mouse's farewell for pretty things beer and ale project sad to see you go but this is definitely one you did an excellent job on um along with some of the other beers so if you've had this one before let me know what you think put some comments in the comment section love to hear your feedback on it if you're a saison fan would definitely love to hear your feedback. With that being said, I appreciate you swinging by to check out another video. I'm going to go ahead and finish drinking this. If you did like the video, as always, please make sure you hit that like button. And of course, if you're not subscribed already, please do. So that way you're up to speed as I release new videos down the line. So with that, I'm going to say cheers. Thanks for swinging by and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.